And I know that Sabina Schaefer and Joachim Krebs are, are fond of Paul Klee's statement that art does not reproduce the visible, but makes visible. And this is something, a sentiment that could easily be applied to science as well. So that their procedure of space sound microscopy renders a valuable service to make the audible, that, to make that audible, which was previously non-audible, but already existing. The process of what they term molecularization, coming from Deleuze, to go in and try and pull out the elements the uh, foundational elements of sound, to desubjectivize sound, but at the same time, not to draw a final abstraction or theory. As they say, the concrete content matter is increasingly dissolved and transformed into an abstract expression matter. However, this process is not completed, so it is possible for each listener's imagination, beyond meaning and contents, to develop individual audio-inspired imaginations in permanent fluctuation between pure naturalness and sheer abstraction. And I believe that this is a, a beautiful instance and possibility for a direction that neuroscience could think about in addressing questions of perception, in forcing the way the material is presented to not be static either as a, just a set of data to be looked at, nor as an overarching theory, but to force the viewer into engaging in this back and forth, in this dialogue between the two.